Hello, I'm Jessica and welcome to my channel. And today I wanted to take you along as I get ready for back to school. Join me as I clean, organize, and prepare and show you some of my favorite affordable systems and habits that keep us organized, as well as some of my favorite school supplies that I keep using year after year. So first thing that we worked on was putting the door that I had recently painted back on my daughter's closet. We made some changes in there and I really felt like getting her room set up in an order was a good start to getting her ready for the school year. I had one of these shoe racks just lying around and so I decided to tackle her mess of shoes just so that we could find what we needed. I put them all in there just to have it be a better use of space. My children used to share a room and now we're slowly trying to get my kids separate rooms set up. We started in my daughter's room and then slowly we'll work on my son's. So here I am just trying to pull everything out of her closet. I'm mainly trying to find her backpack and things that we need for back to school. Here you can even see I finally found her umbrella. After that, I was trying to sort all of my kids stuff into specific mesh bags. If there's a place for everything, my kids are pretty good about putting it away. Then I gave everything a last vacuum and here you can see it finished and organized. So next it's time to tackle her desk. This was an older desk we had so we set it there and we ended up finding a desk that we hope will serve her better for this space this one we actually sold so here we are taking it apart and we decided to get an Ikea Alex desk and this is it set up. Before my kids always shared this larger Alex which we're gonna move probably into our office and so here I am trying to distribute the items. So the left side of this desk we're gonna use as her bedside table and the right side will be more her art supplies. Here I am slowly tidying everything. Now that we have a spot for most things in her room I'm hoping that it can stay tidier. This is a Sunday and so that is the day I redo all the linens and so I'm just taking off the duvets and the fitted sheets and replacing Placing them all with fresh clean ones. And that's her space tidy for now until we change and get a few more storage items, but hopefully she can keep it tidier now. Then it was time to tackle my son's room and he also does not have a door as you can see. And so I'm trying to go through some of his toys and organize and also find his backpack because I definitely need that for the start of school. I also finally repainted my son's door. When we first moved into this house, we accidentally put latex paint over oil and it did not go so well. My son also got a new desk and so I organized his side table. And then I just spent time going through all of their art supplies, sharpening them and making sure that they were all still working just so that we could start off fresh. And then I went about tidying my son's room. There were a lot of things that didn't have a spot before, but now that we've updated his desk, we can kind of find homes for things. And then I just went about displaying some of his books because when he sees what he has, he reads them a lot more. Decided to give everything a good vacuum as this area tends to get really dusty. So it was also time to refresh my son's room. Most of our duvets have snaps in them. There's a few that I got recently that I still need to add it to, but I'll link my video on how to add snaps to make the, putting the duvet on easier. In a nutshell, I have snaps in the corners of the duvet cover and then also the duvet itself. So you just put the corresponding snaps and snap them together. And then this will keep the corners in place so that when you turn it right side out, they kind of stay there and it makes it easier to put the duvet cover on. And then I also added snaps on the bottom of some of them. This this duvet actually has a zipper, so I didn't have to add snaps to this one. And that is his room all done. I still have a few other things to update and paint in his room, but it's looking much better for the start of school. At the school my children attend, we wear uniforms, so here I am trying to slowly go through and see what we are still needing or what we've outgrown. I try to buy as many of my uniforms used. Sometimes that doesn't always work that way. I do really like using the Fetch Rewards app because I can get lands and gift cards, and that's where our school gets a lot of their uniforms from. Right before school starts is the 
the time I have found that stores will put out their best deals for the year. And then I also went through my son's closet mainly to see which clothes still fit him, but then also to find all the things with holes on them because I need to mend them. So I mainly kept these gray shorts as a guide for how long I wanted these other shorts to be. So on Fridays, my kids are allowed to wear blue jeans and my son had no blue sh jean shorts because for some reason, all the shorts I try to buy just don't fit him right and are way too wide. So these jeans had a hole in the knee, so I decided it was a good idea to just hem them into shorts and I was using the other pants as a guide. Here I am doing the same thing, just cutting off the ends and then I sewed one hem across the bottom and then I refolded it to give it a nice clean finished hem. Then it was time to check out shoes, if they still fit. We love these New Balance Boa shoes. I think they're called Fuel Core, and these lasted a full school year and the summer, but now they're just getting a little bit too tight, so it was time to update. And I try to buy shoes every half size, especially when they're on sale, because then I can get them for way cheaper. So I previously bought these Adidas shoes, and they're the next half size up, so they fit my daughter much better. So I do feel like the New Balance pair wears better. These Adidas style did not last nearly as well as the New Balance did, but I have have had other pairs of Adidas that last really well. So I think these ones just aren't my favorite and I probably won't buy them again, but they are super cute. So I know my daughter loves them. So this year my daughter gets to have a locker shelf and I'm not sure if she'll actually need both tiers because I don't know the size of her locker, but this is an adjustable one. So I was trying to figure out how to put it together and take it apart before we actually get there on the day that she can install it into her locker. So I'm just packing this all up, getting it ready to go. We finally completed our summer school work packet that we were given by our teachers and I can link those below. Our school sent out all the different reading lists and math things to practice throughout the summer. And we finally got that all done. So feeling pretty good about that. My daughter needed to bring one of her summer reading books into class. So I made sure to find that and to put that in her bag as well. So we do not forget it on the first day of school. We also got my daughter this capable planner. It's a Jordan Page planner. I thought she would need a planner during the school year. It could be that we will save this for next year because I think this year the teachers give their own planner pages weekly, but I do think it's super cute and I hope we'll get to use it soon. Next, it was time to tackle my homework drawer. This pretty much holds all of the school supplies when we are doing homework in the kitchen. My children tend to sit at the island while they do their homework. And if we need something, I don't wanna to have to run to a different room to get the stuff. And it also kind of holds the permission forms and all of the things that normally end up on my desk or on just counters. And so this is our catch all. So I decided it was time to get rid of the things from last year that we don't need and kind of reorganize it. I do keep a few extra school supplies in case we need it throughout the year. And then it was also time to just double check if we needed any type of school supplies. At our school, the teachers actually buy the supplies and it's just part of tuition. So I did not have to do that this year, which was very nice. I'm not going to lie. This is our quasi mud room and you can see my lovely Ikea bag that I use for summer. We started out with three M hooks and then upgraded to these nice folding hooks. They don't sell these anymore. These are from Ikea, but I can link a similar version from Amazon. Our ballet bag goes on there and then just both of the backpacks. And this way, every Everyone knows where it goes and it keeps our house a little bit tidier. So these are our Ergo backpacks. I love them dearly. We use them year after year. They're definitely um, an expensive backpack, but they have a structured support and you can even adjust them as the child grows. So here I am taking everything out of them just so that I can wash them. And so here I am using my favorite gall soap is what it's called. And so this one has a little scrubby. This is one I brought from Germany, but I found one on Amazon that is purchasable. So I did link it down below, but because we use these backpacks year after year, I definitely needed to give them a good cleaning. They're made out of recycled bottles. I'm not sure if you can still buy them here, but you might be able to buy them online from a different store. I'll see if I can find some. I think the company tried to kind of market them in the US during 2020 and that just didn't go that well, but I was very pleased that I was able to get some before they stopped selling them. So here I am putting them in the washing machine on delicate and on cold and giving it an extra rinse cycle just to really clean it. And then it was time to take them out and I decided to just let them drip dry in in our shower because that is kind of the best way. And they actually dried within a day, which kind of shocked me, but everything came out very clean and I was very happy with it. Inside, they have one little compartment, but then they also have this kind of extra compartment that you can put in. We use bigger binders, but in Europe, a lot of the schools, we use really thin notebooks. And so for us, we just take it out and don't need it. I always have an air tag in my kid's backpack. And then this is the rain cover that kind of fits in the top. And here I am showing how it can be on while the kids 
kids are wearing it, which has really come in handy. Next, I'm just putting our name tags on the backpacks. We got some new ones this year, and I also love their magnetic closure. That is super nice. It was now time to tackle my lunch drawer. I have a ungodly amount of these thermal flask water bottles. You can get them really affordably at Target, and we always keep a cutting board in the drawer for the kids if they need to cut their own stuff. And I use Planet Box lunch boxes. I really like them. Some people don't like them because they don't have a actual gasket on them, but they have small containers that fit inside for them. Last year's bag did get some rips and holes in them, and I wasn't thrilled about that because these bags didn't last as long as I had hoped, but since I don't have to rebuy any other things, it's okay. We also keep this built bag for either the kids if they wanna do thermoses and differently shaped items than the Planet Box, or I use it on field trips, and here I am just taking out the rest of our lunch accessories. I really needed to give this drawer a good vacuum. I have these non-slip liners from Ikea, and these were my leftover ones, which is why there's so many pieces. Normally you would just do one long one, but it's enough to work for this drawer. Now that this drawer is all clean, it is time to go through all of my other accessories. I have some of these Orbit labels that I have been using for over nine years now, and they work really well, but you can see in the dishwasher over time, they can kind of discolor your water bottle. For me, it doesn't really matter, but just so you know. And here I am just trying to sort out all of the fantasy self items and the items that I haven't been using as much and to really just give everything a really good deep clean before I put it back and to make sure that what I'm keeping is actually gonna be used. So now time to put it all back in. This lunch drawer system has been working really well for us. I just bought these two dividers from Ikea and added it to my existing drawer. And honestly, just having this section organized and in one location has been a game changer. These inch bug labels I use for clothing and shoes. And then I got some new ones for our backpacks as well as our lunch boxes. And I pretty much put these things on everything. So here I have one on our Yodo player and they even have really cute allergy ones now. I did end up buying a new lunch box for my daughter because hers had been ripped. And I tried to get a matching ice pack the color is slightly off, but it doesn't really matter. Then I've decided to try these day tripper kind of gasket snack containers, one for each of my children. We've tried them out once or twice before school started and I really do like these. Now is obviously the time to look into lunch boxes. So Costco had a great deal on these Bentgo lunch boxes. These I use when my kids were a lot younger and you can either get two for 20 or three for 30, where at Walmart one was $20. At Target, I did see this really cute Bentco snack one if you really want the gaskets and to make sure it's leak proof. I was so tempted to buy these really cute bluey whiskware snack containers, but we have no use for them really. Costco does now also sell Planet Box lunch boxes. You don't get the big and little dipper in with it, which are the like silicon containers, but those you can buy separately. So it was also time to kind of take stock of what we had at home. I should take time to organize it, but it's just not happening right now. So I was trying to look at some of the different sale items. We did decide to splurge on these Z bars because they were on sale and we weren't really a fan but that's okay. If you don't bake your own bread, you can't beat Costco's price on Nature's Own and Walmart even sells an off-brand of Uncrustables. I definitely buy some prepackaged snacks, but I definitely try to make our own as much as possible, especially to use up certain ingredients. This is a chocolate cake recipe that I grew up making. It's really simple and doesn't actually call for eggs in it. And you can make it dairy-free if you want to as well. So I can definitely link that recipe below if anybody wants it. It was my favorite recipe to make as a kid. And because it kind of makes a little firm crust on top. It doesn't need any form of icing or sprinkles and it is a super fluffy, yummy cake when you're done. I love these silicon trays. I got them last year and I use them so much more than I thought and I like how easy they are to clean, especially because you can just wash them in the dishwasher and they come out perfect every time. This was also our time to go over sight words, just making sure that we still remembered everything that we had been taught at the end of last year. I think bedtimes is one of the hardest things to adjust before a new school year. So we try during the school year to have lights out at 8 p.m. As I said before, we don't have a mudroom in our house. So we have our backpack area and then this is kind of our drop shoe zone right when we get into the house for the things that we use most frequently and are in season. So it was time to really give this area a good clean and to take out the shoes and things that don't need to be in there. So this is the top one where my shoes go and even that was pretty dirty. So I decided to vacuum it out first and then the kids looked even worse, which is not surprising. So just vacuuming it all out.
and now it's ready for it to be just wiped out and cleaned. I'm not expecting these to be perfectly clean. They're for shoes, but I really do like it when they're not just filthy. The top of this is kind of my drop zone, so anything I need to take with me when I'm going to run an errand or put back in one of the vehicles, I tend to lay there so that I always see it when I'm leaving. There were a few scuff marks that weren't coming off, so I did try to use a magic eraser, which worked really well. And then it was time to just put everything back in that actually needs to be here. So I don't love how cluttered this top part still is, but they're just things that need to go in certain areas and I needed to remember to take them back. So looking much better and cleaner and this tiny little cabinet makes such a big difference for us staying organized. So every Sunday I sit down and meal plan for the week. I try to go through my freezer, fridge, and pantry to see what I have to use up those ingredients in my meal plans first. But if I know I have some crazy days coming up, I will even plan in a frozen pizza from Costco, especially when they're on sale, just to keep everything moving smoothly and it just keeps us on track and in budget. The next thing I did was start going through our school's calendar to kind of write in for the year some of the bigger things that are happening so that nothing falls through the cracks. And this is the Jordan Page planner that I have made digital. It is her planner. I just bought the digital version and I actually have a video on how I did that. So if you're interested in that, I will link that as well. So now that summer is almost over, I decided it was time to also adjust my wake up time. So I decided to change my alarm to when we normally try to wake up during the school year. And then it was also time to really go through a lot of my alarms. I have a few from the summer that I don't need anymore. And I had way too many that were just sitting on my phone that I haven't used in years probably. So I took those off and then I added my pickup alarm, which is huge because then I will not forget to pick up my children at the right time. Back to school haircuts is a big thing. My daughter just needs a trim here and there, but I like to keep my son's hair pretty short. So I bought these clippers about 12 years ago and they're still going strong. I am not great at cutting hair, but it definitely saves us a lot of money and I try my best to learn how to cut hair better. I also cut my husband's hair, but my sons is a lot easier to cut for sure. I prefer to have a tidy vehicle and so most of the time we're pretty good about taking everything out but as you can see toward the end of this year there have been a lot of extra things that have been left in it so I decided it was time to vacuum it out. I normally go to a car wash and we'll just use their vacuums but I just didn't have time and the kids didn't want to go with me so I just decided to vacuum it out at home with our shop vac. Luckily there's not that much junk in there so it was just trying to clean up all the crevices and everything. I always keep two extra booster seats in my van just in case we need to bring someone with us that we weren't planning on, which has really come in handy multiple times. So before the first day of school, I make the first and last day of school signs for my kids for the full year because at the end of the year, I never want to think about it. So I'm changing all the dates from last year's and resaving them. And then I print them out so that they're ready for the first day of school. So this was a sign that I found online. It was a free printable. I can definitely link it below. We also do a graduating class shirt that the kids wear as well for each first day of school picture without the signs. And so I was just grabbing those out. I actually got these on Amazon and I was impressed with how nice they are. Then we also lay out our clothes for the first day of school just to make sure we're ready. I love these really thin Columbia rain jackets. I normally find them used, but then we also need a change of clothes just in case to be kept at school. So here I am adding that to my son's backpack to take with him. So one of the things we've also really been trying to do toward the end of the summer is just spending more time as a family that we can before the craziness of school happens. We have been trying to play more games, have some movie nights. We've honestly been loving this game. This game is called Mantis and it's super simple. My kids aren't super old and this game is just lots of fun for us all to play and doesn't take too much time to set up. We also went to a trampoline park for one of their late evening jump times because it was something we normally wouldn't do. So my kids had a blast with that. So I hope that this video was an encouragement to you. Thanks so much for coming along and watching. I know that it was not an exhaustive list of things to do before getting ready, but it was what I was able to get done. And so I guess good is better than perfect. If you have any cool, fun traditions around starting school, I'd love to hear about it. I will do my best to link as many of the items in the description below. If I missed anything, please let me know and I will try to find it for you. So I hope you have a great day and thanks so much for watching. Cheers.